Hello lovelies, it's Lex, and I thought that we would play a little bit of Skyrim today. I have not played it in a while since the last time that we were playing it, so I'm not totally sure uh, what we were doing. Let's look here. Alright, so we have a couple quests. I want to kill the bandit leader. Uh, use our new shop power. Okay, we did that. And I think that we gave a mammoth tusk to Yoslada. I feel like we just, like, got rid of our stuff and gave it to Lydia. And we're just coming down here. Ooh, maybe not. My carry weight's kind of a lot. I have some junk with me. Oh, you know what? I think maybe we just got back. That must be it. We must have just gotten back. I mostly deal with from finding that mammoth tusk and gave it to Yaslata. It's a fine day with you around. Yeah, okay, we already gave it to her, so. Yes. Yes. I guess. The weapons I have on me are, are to be sold. And this stuff is to be sold as well. And that scroll can go ingredients some books what about my miscellaneous what do i have i have some ore and two other mammoth tusks all right well let's go find lydia and give her this some of this junk and then we'll sell the other stuff and then i guess we'll go kill the bandit leader that sounds like something we could do we are like i don't know what level we are we're not we're not very high we're not very high level we're level five, yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna keep, like, pressing L3 to try to run, by the way. Hopefully that doesn't annoy anybody. I'm not trying to sneak. I'm actually meaning to run. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. OMGs. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. I'm having a pretty, pretty low-key, pretty chill day. Just doing some recording and hanging out. All right, Lydia, where are you? Is that Lydia? Okay, that's Lydia. Your sword and your okay, come with me. Uh-huh, I don't really want you to, but I have to have you do that. Got your back. Uh, all right, I want to trade some stuff with I you. Oh, shut up. She's so... I don't like Lydia. Okay, so let's give her this and this and those and these and this. And we don't actually really need those either because we don't have Soul Trap right now. We don't need these. And most of this stuff I'm going to sell. I want to keep that. But we don't need it right now. I'm going to sell those. I guess we'll go for that. Okay. Oops. I'm right behind. Stay here. Oops. Lydia. Let's go away. I'll head back home if you need me. Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't have a house. We're desolate. <laughs> no, we're not really desolate, but I don't have quite enough money to buy. Um what is it in White Run? Is it Breezewood? I think it's Breezewood. Don't have quite enough money to buy Breezewood and there's really like not a point in buying it I mean because I have hearth fire and I know that I'm gonna want to build a house so I could spend the money and buy it so that we had a place to leave our stuff but I tend to travel pretty lightly usually and I sell most of the things that I find or destroy them if like they have an enchantment or whatever so we I'm gonna try to not have to buy it is, is my my goal. I'm going to try to not have to buy it. Go ahead and wait for a little while so we can sell some of our extra stuff. But yeah, I mean, if you were playing this game, you could totally buy the house in Breezewood and just live there and, and you know, never build a home and you would be totally fine. Um, but I don't know. I just, I like to build the houses and I almost feel like it's a waste of money to buy Breezewood just because like, I'm not going to put any time into it. I'm not going to really, like, do anything with it, necessarily. So, eh, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, I just want to sell her stuff. 
do 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 a do 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 damage health I'll keep those and we can sell this sell this sell this sell this sell this I don't need that skooma sell that all right bye I think I have a decent amount of ingredients we probably could have like made some potions oh look at that guy did you see that guy just like floating around like a crazy person whatever isn't this such a isn't this such a fun let's play? Let's go around to the shops and sell things. Oh, this is the most fun I've had all day. I love watching somebody else go to stores selling things. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of this crap. All right, let's go. Let's let's start our adventure. All right, so I know we're going to some camp to kill people. Right? That's all we're doing? Kill the leader at the Silent Moon's camp. Well, where is that? Is that near us? Let's see. Ugh, buttons. World map. Yeah, it's like right, it's like right there. All right, let's go. Do, 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 do. How do I jump? Oh, it's Y, okay. Do you get to the like I said, I haven't played this in uh, quite a little bit here. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really trying to have a lot of different games on the channel and have it not just be Sims stuff, but like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people only come to the channel for Sims things. So lately I've been putting a lot more Sims things up than other games, other Let's Plays. And it's kind of like disheartening. I don't know. I don't want this to be a, like, I'm being a whiny emo kid video, but let me know if you guys, like, actually want to see other things besides Sims, uh, Sims-related things, um, because I know I said a bunch of times, but, like, I don't just play The Sims. Like, I love to play all sorts of games, and it's, like, I don't want to get pigeonholed into doing, like, a Just a Sims channel, because that's just not my thing. Like, that was not my, not my intention. Um, if it ends up just kind of being a Sims only channel, I guess that's okay, but I, I don't know. I, I'll, I get bored with it. Like I like to, um, I like to play different things. Like, I think I said this analogy before. It's like, I can't just sit there and only eat ice cream. Cause I really like ice cream and I decide that I'm going to only eat ice cream and then, you know, after a week or so of eating ice cream, I don't want to eat ice cream anymore. I want to eat something else. So it's just like, as much as I enjoy playing it, it's not the only thing I play. And I don't think that I could only do Sims videos and be happy making videos. Hopefully that makes sense to people. It's like, I don't know. It would be super unfulfilling and super unfun to me to only make Sims videos for the YouTube channel. Like it would be, it would be really unfun for me. And sometimes it's just like you run out of ideas. Like you only have, like, I don't know. There's only so many like ideas of rooms I can come up with like in a certain amount of time. Like it's hard. It's hard to have fresh ideas in The Sims. Like it's really hard to constantly have brand new fresh ideas that other people aren't um that other people aren't doing because I mean, let's face it, like everything's been done before in that game and it, you end up like unintentionally copying people because like it's never ever ever my intention to do a room that's similar to someone else's room but it just happens like there's people that I'm friendly with that have done rooms that are similar to mine and I know that they didn't steal my idea and they didn't want to do exactly what I was doing but it just kind of happens because everybody kind of like you know, a new stuff pack comes out and then everybody's like, oh, I'm going to do a garden because you got, you know, uh, the romantic garden pack. So I'm going to make a garden or I'm going to make this because we got a kid's pack or whatever. So there really is like, 
with what we have in the game, and since I don't use um, custom content really, there's only so many things that I can do, guys, and I, I run out of ideas. <laughs> I used to, um, I used to take requests um, for rooms and things, uh, just so that like it would give me an idea, like a free idea, so that I could say like, oh, I made this because, uh, you know, so and so. Um, asked me to do a, a room for them that's about trains or whatever. Just because it was like, here's here's an idea that somebody gave me so that I could like kind of relax and just d make what they wanted me to make. But I haven't done that in a I haven't done that in a while. I haven't gotten any um I haven't gotten any requests. If anybody has a room request, I will gladly do a room for you. Just leave me a message on the Sims um, gallery, like on my gallery page, and let me know what you would like, and I will totally try to make one for you, depending on what it is. <laughs> I wish that, like, some of the stuff that was custom content was just, like, real <laughs> so that it didn't have to be custom content that it was just something that was just in the game because some of those custom content creators like guys they're ridiculous like some of those custom content creators are so talented so so talented and i don't know why the actual sims like developers sims community people um don't hire them because there there are some people that are just so ridiculously talented in the in the things that they create for the um, for the custom content community. But I'm not like a giant uh, custom content user. I have used it. I mean, I obviously I do have I do have stuff that is custom content. Um, I feel like there's supposed to be like a mace up here or something. Eh, whatever. I'm not gonna use it anyway. Um. I don't really tend to use a lot of custom content in my game just because it always makes my game like run funny. I don't know. Like I'll use it for in create a sim, like if I'm just uploading a sim for the challenge or whatever. But anytime that I try to use custom content and like play with it, like actually play the game with the custom content um, turned on or set up or whatever, it just like doesn't work right. Like my, my like lady sim will be walking around and she has hair in her picture and she has hair when I like save the family. But then... Um, when I'm actually playing, she doesn't have hair. Like, she's just walking around with no hair. It's really odd. Let me know if you guys have ever had that kind of thing happen. Because I always worry that, like, it's just me and it's something that I'm doing. <laughs> like, oh, you think that you know everything, but you have no idea what you're doing. But, like, I, I would never act like I, like I knew everything. Because I don't. I have no freaking idea. Shabam! Oh, we shot that guy. Yeah, but whatevs, yo. Oh, man. I... I don't know. Went to Starbucks today. That was, like, the highlight of my day. That was about it. Went and got my usual drink that I get. I always get a venti ice Starbucks double shot. Um, I love coffee. If you are not a coffee person don't get a Starbucks double shot. It is, um, about, depending on who makes it, um, honestly, it depends on who makes it, uh, at the Starbucks that I go to. Um, it has either between four and six espresso shots. Like, I know that that seems like a, a kind of a wide, like, difference, but that's seriously the truth, uh, for, for who makes it. But I usually get that with the classic syrup and I will get, um, some toffee nut syrup in it as well. Um, and half and half, but it's delicious. If you're, if you're a coffee drinker, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But, um, sometimes if it's like a newer person, they get confused and they, um, put it into the computer, like the order system or whatever. It's just two espresso, two espresso shots over ice, um, and I have to like explain to them that that's not what it is, and then I feel like such a jerk because like this is their job, like they, you know, they should they should know what this is, and it makes me feel like I'm being so rude by being like, oh no, it's actually this, and because I'm not that person, like I'm not that person that goes to Starbucks and is like a pain, and like it takes forever to order and whatever. I get the same thing 
every time I go. I never switch it up really ever. I always tip them. Like I'm just, I'm not that person that's like, I want a soy whipped mocha frappa blah, blah, blah. Like that's just not me. So if they don't know what I'm getting or they don't understand what I'm getting, I do. I feel like such a jerk because since I've been getting the same drink for literally I'm not exaggerating more than more than five years I've gotten the same drink almost every single time that I have gone to Starbucks so I know that it's under the espressos menu on their computer and that this is you know this is how much it should be and blah 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 so I don't know it's really weird but I'm pretty friendly with um the people that are um like at my local Starbucks because I go there really often <laughs> at least if not every other day, every day, <laughs> like every day I'm there. Um, so, you know, I've become friendly with them. Like I know their names and I know like if they have kids and you know, if they have another job or whatever. So a lot of times when I go, I get my drink for free, which is always very nice because if you're nice to other people that are in the service industry, they will be nice to you. So since I always tip them, I get free drinks. Like it's just a perk. Like it's one of those, you know, pay it forward kind of things. And there's been times when I've had somebody um, that I know from Starbucks or whatever that's come into the restaurant that I work at and I might be able to get them a free drink or a little extra whatever because you know they always hook me up so I'm gonna hook them up it's just one of those one of those type of nice like you know do it for somebody else because they would do it for you kind of things but that's also like a super big like service industry thing like other servers like if there's any other servers that watch this channel like you know what I'm talking about if there's people that you're friendly with that work in another restaurant Everybody that works in restaurants knows everybody else that works in restaurants, like, locally. Oh, can you guys hear the sirens? I'm not sure if my mic's picking that up or not. I live right near a um, fire department, <laughs> so there's, like, sirens constantly. I don't mind it, though. I like the fire trucks. Um, but, yeah, it's totally, like, such a service industry thing, you know? Servers, no servers. Servers... Like, I worked at one restaurant, but now they worked at another restaurant. But, you know, Susan that worked at their restaurant now works at this restaurant. So they know her and she knows him and everybody knows everybody. And it's just like the weirdest thing. Like, local bars around here. I mean, I'm not a big drinker, so I don't really go out at all. But local bars around here, if you go there, it's like all people that work in restaurants. It's like all wait staff are just like hanging out at the bar together talking about how good their shift was, how bad their shift was, how they know so-and-so, oh, this person's a regular, like, it's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. But all my service industry people, like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So weird. Ooh, where am I turning in this quest? I didn't even look. Okay, so we're going back to Dragon's Reach. <laughs> I'm, like, so bad. Like, I get on these, like, really weird rants about just stupid crap, and then I never even pay attention to the game anymore. You guys are probably like, I don't want to listen to you talk about stupid crap the whole time. I just want to see you play the game. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. I'm the commander of the guard here. Really? I don't care that you're the commander of the guard because I'm going to punch you in the face. I wish that, like, the random, like, NPC banter was a little bit more varied. I mean, this game's been out for a while, but you'd think that, like, when they would randomly patch it, that they'd be like, oh, we updated our stuff, so so-and-so's less annoying, or this person has a few more speech options, or whatever, because it gets really redundant. Like, the people say the same stuff over and over and over and over and over. I mean, I do what that, too, it? but... Dragons? Yeah, dragons. I brought a freaking dragon into the castle. Know. Like, what is that? Oh, my back is really sore. I have back problems, guys. It's not, it's not good. I should probably go to a doctor, but doctors are scary. Oh, I don't, I can't, I can't deal with it. I, I seriously can't deal with it. What the crap is that? What is that floating? Do you see that? How weird is that? I don't know what that is. That's really weird. Okay. Divines bless you. Oh, divines, bless me. All right, I killed that guy. You've done us a great Here's your reward. Okay, thanks. Your reward. Eh, all right. Well, we went on a little adventure. We sold some stuff. We didn't do a whole lot, but I think I'm going to end this video here, guys. I hope everybody is having a fantabulous day. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know how your day is going down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys, and I will see everybody next time. Bye.